Thanks for coming down into the basement and hanging out with me today. My name is Jeremy with Too Many Hobbies. And all I gotta say is, wow, this is an awesome donation from my friend Mike. He contacted me and said, hey Jeremy, I've got a whole bunch of model railroading stuff that used to be my grandfather's. And it's just collecting dust in my garage. Would you be interested? Heck yeah! So, we made arrangements to pick it up, and I've only looked through one of these bags, and I'm quite impressed with what's in there, so I am really curious to find out what the rest of this stuff is. Let's get it onto the table and go through it together. Alright, let's get started. We'll just pick one bag here. Oh, this is cool. We got... What is that, like an NW something or other? I'm not quite sure what that is. But, uh, yeah, that's pretty neat. What do we got for brand? Walther's. Nice little project. We'll see if I can make anything of it. Otherwise, it's just something fun. Alright. Seems like we got most of it here, but it is in pieces. Flywheel motor. Alright, that's cool. We're just going to try to quickly go through these. Coach's Jamp Train. That's pretty cool. Uh, what do we got here? It might be an empty box. This seems pretty light. Nope. All right. Wow, that's that's an interesting train. N scale. Okay, that's pretty cool. I like that. Very cool. Alright, some more N-Scale cars. Chicago Northwestern. Tanker car. Great Northern box car. And another Great Northern. Caboose. Alright, that's great. Definitely use that stuff. What do we got here? Holy moly, that's interesting. It's a Shea. Alright, we got an old style motor here. Warehouser Timber Company. That's kind of a, I don't know how local that is, but that's something to our, something that's around here, used to be around here, I should say. Alright, well that's pretty cool. Uh, kind of missing side gear and stuff, but something somebody can scratch build something with. That's cool. Cato. That looks pretty cool. HO scale. Is this actually a Kato? Probably. It doesn't really say on the bottom that it is, but it's pretty nicely detailed. Uh, let's see. Well, it's not a Canadian National, so that's probably not the original local that came in there. In that box. Not really sure the brand. Oh, that's pretty interesting. We'll have to set that aside. That looks, that looks pretty cool. This one says Union Pacific 1028. That is clearly not a Union Pacific. That's okay. That's a, another GP series of locomotives. This one does say Cato on the bottom. Let's see. Cato. Yep. There we go. Yeah, I'm not sure what brand this guy is, but this guy's certainly got a lot of weight going on to it. Alright, cool. And what else we got here? Nice! Little switcher engine. Great Northern. That is also a Kato. Says Kato on the bottom here. That looks pretty cool. I like that. Custom paint job on it. Large box of postage stamp trains. Says 4703 Cannonball on it. Posted stamp trains in micro gauge. Cadillacs of model railroading. Okay, that's an uh, interesting, interesting thing there. Let's try this way. All right. Whoa, service manual. That's pretty cool. I like that. Hmm. I have not looked at one of these before. Aurora. Wow, nice. Okay. And we got a variety of cars here. Nice. 
We probably got <laughs> a few different mismatch of cars, but that's quite 100% okay. We got a couple knuckle cars and, or uh, excuse me, a couple Rapido style uh, couplers on some of these cars. Austria on this one. Well, that's pretty cool. I don't know if you can read that. Probably not. Austria. Let's see what this engine says on it. Tricks. All right. This one probably is going to say the same thing. Yep. This must be the dummy. Tricks. All right, cool. What do we got up on top here? Nice dummy of a Burlington Northern. Interesting. No, that's not a dummy. That's actually a power? Seems awful light, but I can see gears in there. All right. This one's a little heavier. Whoa, neat. Sue. All right, that says lifelike on it. What does this one say for brand? Boy, this is like really light. Lifelike as well. Must be must be missing the counterweight. Really light. What do we got in this one? Looks like a bunch of N-Gage track here. Interesting container for it. Bag in a bag. All right. Yep. That's what we got. A lot of track. Somebody must have had a N-Gage layout. And that's the remnants of it. Okay. Holy moly, I didn't expect this. We got a variety of things. We got a Lionel car. How'd you know, Mike? <laughs> that's pretty cool. Or k -Line. No, it says built by Lionel. So that's a shocker. I didn't expect any of that. And we got... Let's see. Let's get this stuff over here. What do we got here? This is, uh, I'm not sure what brand of car this is. Pretty lightweight car, but that's nice. Chicago Northwestern, okay. These have all got the more modern knuckle style couplers on them. Great Northern. A lot of cool cars here. We got some uh, loads in this one, that's neat. Northern Pacific, cool. Well, that's a neat weathered caboose there. Another caboose. It's pretty nice. CNR, Canadian National Railway. Nice. Ah, all right. Here we go. A little worse for wear, but... Chicago, Burlington, Quincy. Burlington route, all right. Well, that one's pretty cool. Burlington Northern. Alright, Hercules Power Powder Company. Hercules Powder Company. Well, that's nice. Got a metal bottom on it. No brand name. Like a kit, I bet. A lot of cabooses. Alright, Denver Rio Grande. Nice. And another one. <laughs> Air brake. <laughs> that's a cool little short car. I like that. Alright, let's get this out of the way. There's a lot of stuff here. The Durango and Silverton Narrow Gauge Railroad hat. Okay, that's cool. We've got a variety of parts for some sort of kit. Great West Models gas station and garage. Service scenery and vehicles not included. Cool. That's cool. I like that. Little building kit there. Oh, that's cool. Uh, let's see, is this the one? DRG, DRGW Cookie Box. Yep. <laughs> it says Cookie Box right on it there. That's nice. Real nice kit. Atherin. What do we got here? 40 foot REA Reefer. Yep. Railway Express Agency Reefer. A little worse for wear, but it'll snap back into position. Nice. That's awesome. Oh, that something I could use. Nice, another one of these would not be all that bad. Standard 
issue transformer, which I have one, but another one would not be too bad. A little cleanup and it'll be good as new. Hopefully it works. Nice. Holy moly. Look at all this stuff. Wow. All right, gonna run out of space here. All right, we've got just a variety of HO scale cars here. That one's kind of cool. We're not going to take these out of the box. Um, we'll just kind of sort through them and... Wow, really neat. Here's a nice hand-built load. That's pretty cool. Chicago Northwestern. What's this guy over here? Drink Old Heidel Heidelberg Blatz. Blatz, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. That's cool. Wow, some really cool stuff. Union Pacific. Nice. Alright. Holy moly, I was not expecting all this. Thank you very much, Mike. Really appreciate it. Whoa! Holy buckets. Alright. Lots and lots of HO stuff. Swift Premium, that's pretty cool. I'm just going to pull out some of the more ones that I find kind of cool and interesting. Oh. Duluth, South Shore, and Atlantic. That's cool. Wow, oh, some really cool cars here. Rock Island, Great Northern, Cattle Car. We've got some nice loads there. Wow, Burlington Road. Very cool. Very, very cool. Some supplies. Everybody can use some of that. A little sheet styrene. Oh, well, that's unexpected. We got like signs and decals and stuff. Uh, pain window. People. Nice. H.O. People. All right. Wow. Nice stuff. Wow. <laughs> holy, holy smokes. That is a lot of stuff. Yeah. Let's get this out of here. Okay, let's check out this one. It says GP35 Power Sioux Line. Well, that's not a GP35, but that's okay. We've got a Baldwin VO something, Wathers brand. Okay, that's... Heavy, heavy locomotive. That's cool. What do we got here? It's another switcher, SW, something or other, lifelike. That's nice. Detail West. I wonder if that's what this actually is. Nope. It's for a boxcar. <laughs> Coos Bay Lumber Company. That is not a model I have ever seen before. That is a really neat model. That is very, very unique. Got a jewel headlight. That's cool. Okay. What's in the big box here? Oh, consolidation 280 with smoke. That yeah, might be what it is. So what we've got here is a Great Northern. Had some weathering done on it, it looks like. Let's see if we can peel it out of here without damaging it. Neat. Wow, that's really detailed. Nice. I like that. Okay. We'll leave the top off that one. Alright. Oh, we got some more over here. Alright. Another locomotive. <laughs> Another custom paint job, I think. St. Regis Paper Company. That's cool. Cato engine. Nice. Interesting how the <laughs> cab's a little deformed there. It's all the more fun. What else we got? Hmm, that's a little different. Balto and Ohio. It's got a brand name on it. 
Mantua. Okay. Nice. That's pretty cool. Oh, the, uh... Hmm. Not sure what that's for. They got smoking and tender, maybe? Neat. All right. Oh, I almost thought we we're done. We're not. Interesting. Okay, here is another engine here. And I don't know what brand this is. I'm sure some of you will know, but that's okay. Interesting. Great Northern GP series. GP9, Great Northern. Okay, so it must be an Anthem brand. It matches the box. What do we got here? More variety of stuff. Uh, track pins, probably. Sh oh, that's some Shea parts for that Shea locomotive. Uh, let's see, variety of people. Engine parts. Vogler seed and feed. <laughs> N and G. Okay, some uh, N scale stuff here, I think. Nice. Can never go wrong with some track clips and test things. Nice. Don't know exactly what scale these are. I'm guessing HO. Thinking H.O. Oh, these are wood. Wow, that's cool. Check out the inside. That's pretty neat. <laughs> that's really cool. Just scratch built, and the roofs are like uh, cardboard or tag board out of uh, food containers. Well, that's really cool. Let's see, you got some fencing here. Oh, this is pretty cool. Nice. Little switch tower kind of thing. Lang's beer. Zang's beer, maybe? Vogler storage. Cool. Got some other little stuff here. This might... Yeah, this probably be about the same scale as that other stuff. Nice. Ow. A lot of good stuff here. Whoa. Jeez. Pioneer Press. Daily Adventures. Vogler Seed and Feed. Nice. go. Cool. More buildings. I like it. That's pretty neat. Hillside Lumber and Millwork. That one looks pretty cool. Let's take that out. That structure's pretty cool. Oh, it's got a light in there. Interesting. Shanty here, I like that. Baxters, <laughs> that's pretty neat. Got a, a band playing there, nice. And my favorite, the cars. I'm in the cars. Got some neat ones in there, nice. That's probably end gauge, I'm thinking this guy is. Oh, okay. Milk truck? That's pretty cool. Alright, cool. Let's move the camera around and we'll wrap it up. All I can say is, wow! And of course, thank you very much, Mike. If there's something I can't find an immediate use for, I will definitely find a good home for it. But there are some neat pieces in there that I will definitely be able to use. And, of course, that kind of wraps it up. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. And, of course, check out the rest of the channel. There is so much cool stuff here to see. i got a lot of different videos. Too many hobbies, of course, so all kinds of different stuff. Thank you very much for watching. We'll catch you on the next one.